Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take a page from a comic book and we're going to convert that over to a screenplay format. Now think about it, actually, this is what's done all the time with all these big Marvel movies, really, is that they all started with as comic books. And someone had to take the comic book and say, well, how can we take the comic book and convert it over to a movie? So someone had to actually look at the comic books and then write a script or a screenplay, same thing, and then make it somehow match the comic book. I mean, it's not going to match 100%, of course, but it's approximate, approximately similar to what the comic book is. But in this exercise, we're just going to take one page of a comic book or a little page from a story a book, and we're going to convert it to screenplay format. So let me walk you through how to do this. So you can see right here, I have a page out of Superboy number 11, I believe that I have. Um, I've collected this. Uh, I got this when I was a little kid and I still have it. Um, I collected uh, all sorts of comics. But anyway, this is page one of this comic book. And um, let's look at what's happening in the actual comic book itself in the story. So you can see here that you've got the young Clark Kent. And it says here at the top, one day in Smallville High School, as Clark Kent looks thoughtfully out of the window, and he's thinking to himself, right, he's thinking, Funny, all the birds out there seem to be sleeping, even though it's the middle of the day. And then the next shot here, the next frame or panel in a comic book is we have a little description of the action. But when Clark turns his gaze, he gets a staggering surprise. Why, everyone in the classroom suddenly fell asleep. Has some knockout gas escaped? I'd better investigate as... Superboy. Okay, so this is starting it up and you can see by looking at this that it goes a little further. He's outside. He's looking around. He sees everybody's asleep everywhere. He drives around. He prevents a truck from running into something. And then at the end panel, we see that he is has met up with some aliens from outer space who are standing outside their spaceship. And then one of them says, at last, Superboy, we meet you face to face. I am Othar and we of the super world have come far across the universe to find you. And then Superboy says, is it you who caused this sleep that's gripped the whole town? Okay, so we get the idea. So how would we convert that to a screenplay? Well, let's look up here in Celtics. And our first decision is always, okay, the opening scene, is it inside or outside? Well, obviously it's inside. So we're gonna type int, right? And we can see that where is it? Well. It's inside, it's a classroom. Is it day or night? Obviously day. So that is the opening of scene one, right? Inside, classroom, daytime. Now let's go to action. We're in action now. Action is the description. So we can look at this and we can say, um, let's describe what's really happening here. So we look at the comic book again and we say, um, we can write, for example, Clark Kent is sitting in his class room looking out the window okay and um, he notices um, birds outside that seem to be asleep Clark is staring at them looking away from his book. Okay, so that pretty well describes what we see here, right? We could theoretically add a little bit more in there, but that pretty much describes it. So now we're going to go to the next part, which is he is actually, he's not saying any words out loud, but he's thinking them. So it's really the same thing. So I hit return and then I hit tab and it goes to the first person. So I'll, I'll type um, Clark Kent. So that's going to be the person who's talking. So what does he actually say, right? Remember, words and thoughts, it's a voiceover, right? We're going to hear him, him speaking. Um, and then we just write out the words as they are here, right? We don't need to change them around. Funny, all the birds out there seem to be sleeping even though it's the middle of the day. Okay, 
and then that's all he says. Okay, now let's hit return again. Now we don't have another character speaking yet, right? But we do have more action that's coming up. So I'll hit return again. I'm back to action. Notice it says action here. And we continue to panel two, right? So we see that, okay, so here we see that um, um, basically what's happening is this Clark looks up, right? And um, he is, you can say, surprised to see everyone, including the teacher, is fast asleep. Um, that's what he's seeing there. That's exactly what he's seeing. Now, again, he has thoughts that are occurring here. We see those thoughts in the thought bubble here, right? So let's hit enter and tab. And again, we'll tar type Clark Kent. Notice that it already recognizes that I'm probably going to say spell out Clark Kent. It does it for me. And then let's write out what he's saying, right? So he said we could write it out exactly the way it's here. Why? And then dot, dot, dot. Everyone in the classroom suddenly fell asleep. Now, I don't want to end up typing this out completely because this would take kind of a long time to do. Uh, but I think you kind of get the idea of, of how we're doing this, right? Now, one thing I didn't include here, which is that since this is not actually being spoken, it's always good to type um, VO for voice over, right? Just so that people can see that, oh yeah, that's right, it's a, it's a voice over. And it would be the same in here, just to let everyone know that, oh yeah, okay, this is actually not spoken word, but it's, it's the thoughts of the person. Now, this would continue along here, right? I won't type the whole thing out, but we are going to eventually, all of a sudden, notice that in this third panel, he's outside now, right? He's outside. So this is a new scene. So I hit return one, two, three times to get to a new scene. And now it's exterior, right? And it's going to be exterior, and I'm going to put down city street, still daytime, right? And then I'm going to continue on it. I'm going to write out the action that's going on here, right? Interpret it the way you see it here. He's What do we see? He's outside. People are, are flopped down on the ground, sleeping, leaning up against poles and so forth. And then we have, now we really have, it's no longer really Clark Kent, it's Superboy. So we could, our character would be Superboy. He's saying not only everyone in the school, but everyone in Smallville is asleep and so on. And then we would continue the action here because he's still outside. And then this would probably be a third scene because it's completely different where now we have the aliens in the spaceship and you would describe it. So this essentially is the process. You can see that I'm not just copying things exactly word for word except for dialogue, but I'm using the comic book to tell me what is happening. So that's essentially how you do it.